Hi, my name is Kathy Myron, and today's Meaningful Minute is part one in a two-part series on multi-factor authentication, or MFA. MFA simply requires that you need to use multiple factors to prove your identity to a website before logging in. It usually requires a combination of something you know, which is your password, and something you have, which is a six-digit code. Now, those codes can be sent to you through SMS text message or generated using an Authenticator app, but without both of those pieces of information, you can't log in and neither can anyone else. This ensures that a stolen username and password can't be used against you. But the problem is that most sites don't require use of MFA, even though it's supported. So you have to check in your security settings to turn on multi-factor and then set up your codes so that you know it's working for you. If you haven't done that for all of your important accounts, like your email, social media, bank account, and shopping sites, I would suggest you do that right now. And then watch our next video to see how not using multi-factor can actually be used against you in an attack.